Shalom and good evening. This is TV7 Israel News broadcast to you from Jerusalem and in today's top stories. Tensions escalated violently over the weekend in and around Jerusalem as well as on Israel's southern front with the Hamas-controlled Gaza Strip. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan threatens Israel, dubbing it a terrorist state. Iranian Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei declares jihad against Israel to be a public duty. Tensions escalated violently over the weekend in and around Jerusalem, as well as on Israel's southern front with the Hamas-controlled Gaza Strip. Hostilities radically escalated on Friday as Muslims marked the last Friday prayer of the month of Ramadan at the Al-Aqsa Mosque, which is situated on the Temple Mount, referred to by Muslims as Haram al-Sharif. Following the Friday prayers, which included roughly 85,000 worshippers, thousands of those attending heeded calls which circulated on social media to hold protests for jihad, Arabic for a holy Islamic war, against Israeli sovereignty on the Temple Mount in particular and Jerusalem in general. <laughs> Toward the end of the protest, which included waving of both Palestinian and Hamas flags, hundreds of those attending instigated a riot, hurling a variety of objects toward police officers, including fireworks, bottles and stones. Consequently, several hundred police officers were instructed to storm the compound with the aim of dispersing the rioters. The clashes ensued for several hours into the night. During Friday night's clashes, roughly 200 Arab rioters were reportedly injured, even though the various organizations treating them often conflicted one another, therefore TV7 could not corroborate the exact figure. Separately, the Israel Police Spokesperson's Unit confirmed that 17 police officers sustained injuries, half of whom were transferred to hospitals in the city for further treatment. In tandem, clashes erupted in a number of East Jerusalem neighborhoods, while in the West Bank, three Palestinian militants approached a border police base and opened fire with automatic machine guns toward troops standing watch. The border police troops immediately responded to the attack by opening fire toward the three militants who were neutralized in the exchange of fire. No injuries were reported among the Israeli force. Separately, amid temperatures soaring to above 38 degrees Celsius, equal to over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, the Islamist Hamas organization has instructed its operatives to resume the launch of dozens of balloons strapped with incendiary and improvised explosive devices. إحنا بناء وحدة الزوارة وإحنا بنقول لها إلك يا نتنياهو ارجعنا لك وقلنا لك مرة مرتين وثلاثة إنك إحنا ابعد عن أخواننا في الضفة الغربية وفي القدس المحتلة بإذن الله غير نخلي الغلاف نار لهيبة حارقة نصرة لإخواننا في القدس Since Friday until today, the incendiary devices flown over into Israel have sparked an average of 40 fires in the country's southern region burning thousands of acres of agricultural fields and wild forests. Meanwhile, on Saturday, clashes in Jerusalem resumed in and around the Temple Mount as well as in eastern neighborhoods of the city, which are predominantly Arab. Consequently, in light of corroborated intelligence reports which identified hundreds of Arab Israelis that reside in northern Israel traveling to Jerusalem with the aim of joining the ongoing clashes, Police was instructed to close the major routes into the Israeli capital, including Highway 1 and sections of Highway 6, causing major traffic jams throughout the country. Consequently, those attempting to reach Jerusalem for the protests disembarked from their vehicles and started walking on foot toward the city. Others sought out alternative routes with traffic jams delaying entry to the city of up to five and a half hours. Separately on Saturday night, Palestinian Islamists have once again resumed rocket fire from the Hamas-controlled Gaza Strip toward Israel's southern communities. The rocket fire initially started at approximately 1.30 a.m. on Saturday, with sporadic fire reported over the course of Sunday as well, with eight projectiles in total directed at the Israeli city of Ashkelon, Gaza periphery communities, as well as the town of Sderot. 
While two of the incoming rockets were successfully intercepted by the Iron Dome Aerial Defense Array, the remainder exploded in unpopulated territories, causing no injuries or damage. In a retaliatory response, Israeli aircraft and tanks struck a number of Hamas military posts in the southern Gaza Strip on two separate occasions. Meanwhile, in Jerusalem, ahead of Israel's commemoration of its usual festive Jerusalem Day, the Israeli cabinet held a special meeting during which Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu addressed the current situation surrounding the Israeli capital. מפכ"ל המשטרה, ראש השב"כ, ראש המל"ל וגם גורמים אחרים. לא נאפשר לאף גורם קיצוני לערער את השקט בירושלים. נשליט בחוק וסדר, בתקיפות ובאחריות. נמשיך לשמור על חופש הפולחן לכל הדתות, אבל לא נאפשר הפרות סדר אלימות. באותה נשימה אני אומר לארגוני הטרור, ישראל תגיב בעוצמה על כל מעשה תוקפנות מרצועת עזה. The Israeli Prime Minister went on to highlight the connection of Jerusalem to the Jewish state, further asserting that, historically speaking, only under Israeli rule, freedom of worship for all religions has been maintained. Alternate Premier and Defense Minister Benny Gantz, for his part, highlighted that the convergence of multiple Arab and Israeli events have been seemingly exploited by radical elements who seek to destabilize the situation on the ground. לצערי, בשבועות האחרונים אנחנו רואים התססה הולכת וגוברת של גורמים uh, קיצוניים, וההסתה הזאת היא מתדקת את האלימות, והחודש uh, בסופו של דבר, חודש שבו מתאחדים הרבה מאוד וקטורים, יום ירושלים, לילה תל קדר שנחגוג אתמול, סוף הרמדאן, uh, החג שמתקרב, חג השבועות שמתקרב, יום ירושלים שנמצא בתוך הסיפור הזה. בקיצור, הרבה מאוד דברים שהתאחדו לכדי מגמה אחת שהעלו Gantz, who also serves as Israel's justice minister, cited efforts to thwart social media from being cynically utilized to incite the masses to violence. Facebook <laughs> לא משתפים מספיק פעולה בכל מה שקשור להורדת הסטות מהרשתות. בסופו של דבר הדבר הזה מלהיט, ואני מקווה שנזכה לשיתוף פעולה יותר רחב על מנת לצנן את המתחים שקיימים ממילא בתקופה הזאת. It is important to highlight that while the situation on the ground continues to be violent in Jerusalem, the West Bank remains seemingly quiet. However, dozens of protests were recorded in Muslim countries throughout the Middle East, most notably in Turkey, Iran, Yemen, Lebanon and Jordan. Bizler buraya İsrail'in zulmü de olan Filistin kardeşlerimiz için geldik. Sanmasınlar ki oradaki insanlar, oradaki Müslüman kardeşlerimiz yalnız değil. Bizler buradayız. Gerekirse Allah'ın izniyle ölüme de gideriz. Müslümanların birliği ve vahdeti olmadıktan sonra İsrail saldırmaya devam edecek. Müslüman ülkelerin bir araya gelmedikten sonra ve bu işe Gönlünü bağlamayan liderlerin olduğu müddetçe İsrail saldırmaya devam edecek. Biz buradayız. Kardeşlerimizin yanındayız. Her zaman da yanında var olmaya devam edeceğiz. Responding to public sentiments and the events taking place in Jerusalem in an address to his AK party, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan dubbed Israel a terrorist state and threatened Israel to halt its activities in Jerusalem. Zalim. İsrail, terör devleti İsrail, mukaddesatlarını korumak, binlerce yıllık evlerine, yurtlarına sahip çıkmak dışında hiçbir gayeleri olmayan Kudüs'teki Müslümanlara vahşice ve ahlaksızca saldırmaktadır. Kudüs'te Mescid-i Aksa'ya ve Müslümanlara yönelik Alçak saldırıların derhal durdurulmasını istiyoruz. 300'e yakın yaralı var ilk andan itibaren. Filistinleri evlerinden etmeye 
ve yurtlarından çıkarmaya yönelik her türlü doğrudan ve dolaylı baskıların sona erdirilmesini bekliyoruz. Aksi takdirde zalimleri hak ettikleri akıbete düçar eylemek için her türlü gayreti gösterecek, her türlü çabayı ortaya koyacağız. Separately in Tehran, the Supreme Leader of the Islamic Republic, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, declared in a televised address that it is a public duty to fight against the Jewish state. Mubarize ba in regime sapfak, mubarize ba zol, va mubarize ba terrorism ast, va in vazifei hamaganist. While Israel has been widely condemned for the events taking place in Jerusalem with misinformation plaguing global outlets and social media alike, the international community has remained widely silent to those words of aggression directed at Israel. Thank you for watching us. I would like to take this opportunity to encourage you today to join TV7 Israel and I in fervently praying for the peace of Jerusalem and the salvation of Israel, alongside prayers for the peace and salvation of India once more, as well as for our persecuted brothers and sisters around the world. I'm Jonathan Hassan wishing you a Shavuot Tovu Mevorach and we will see you again tomorrow at the same time.